Well, how are you? One of just a few internationals that have played for the club. How special is that for you? Um, yeah, it's, it's really special to me. I mean, it's special to my mum. My, well, my grandma's not alive anymore, but it's special to her. She was born there. My granddad obviously still lives there. He's got a house there. So, yeah, it means a lot to me. And speaking more about your recent international call-up with St Kitts and Lewis, you're part of the re- current CONCACAF squad. How, what is that experience like for you? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, um, we played against Grenada. I've got a couple of, a couple of friends that play for them. And um, Caribbean football is getting bigger, you know. There's a lot of English-based um, players coming over, a lot of MLS players coming over. So, yeah, it's getting bigger. Yeah, because I didn't look into it and I see the likes of Romain Sawyer as well. I think he's yeah, yeah. I mean, one of your teammates. Me and Romain, we play, well, I play striker. Romain plays um, number 10 right behind me. And he's, he's a special talent. And not many of us have seen much of the CONCACAF competition or actually visited the Caribbean. Tell us a bit more about what football is like over there. Um, they like to take risks, so they like to play out from the back, and um, that's what they constantly keep doing. Everyone is, everybody is so strong, I don't know what's in the food there. <laughs> but everyone seems to be a lot physical over there. And what do you remember sort of, from the Caribbean, sort of your time over there? What was it, what's it like for you? It's hot, I'd tell you that, it's hot. And it's, you know, it's, just, it's just a beautiful place to, to, to go, really. It's, um, I'm, 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 I'm fortunate, I'm lucky. Um, but like I said, it's not it's not holiday when we go out there. It's serious, but we got to train either in the morning or, or late at night because it is so hot there. But yeah, it's such a beautiful place. And tell us a bit more about your sort of your connection to St. and Everton, how how you qualify to play for them. My mum's from there. Mum was born there. My grandma, my granddad. I have a lot of family over there. I have a couple of teammates. That's my family. Who I only realised that was my family when I actually played there. Um, so yeah, that's my connection. So it's a real special bond, you know. So close connection to that yeah, country. Yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really special, it's close to my heart. You made your international debut back in 2014 when you were just 19. What was that experience like for you and do you remember much of it? I, I do remember because I remember I scored on my debut for St. Kitts. I think it was against Barbados um, in Haiti and it was like 39 degrees. I remember it was on AstroTurf and I don't like playing on AstroTurf but I just remember I did score my debut and we did lose 2-1. Yeah, it, it was special. You know, it's always special when you score on your debut, especially for your, your mother's country. And um, yeah, I, I just remember scoring. I remember on the volley. I think you remember what the goal was like. Can you describe it? Yeah, it just came from across, and then I took a touch of my chest and just volleyed it. A bit like my one against um, Stockport. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say it's a bit one of that, is it? Which yeah. one would you prefer, in your opinion? The Stockport goal. The Stockport goal was better, but what meant more? Than, nah, they both meant um, the same as me to be fair, because that's my first goal of the season, my first goal for St. Kitts too, so it's the same really. And you've gone on to make 21 appearances for the international team, scoring 10 times, an impressive record, what's your thoughts on that? Um, well I play Romain Sawyer and everyone, if you know him, you know that he's an, he's an assist king. So really it's just, he puts it on a plate for me and it's just my job to finish it. And that's exactly what we do, we've got a good connection, I mean everyone's got a good connection in the whole squad. Um, yeah, it's a good ratio. Um, and yeah, I, just, I, I carry on to keep playing for them and scoring goals. And how important is that for you to have a good connection with the guys at St. Kitts and Lewis? Yeah, it's, it's, it, you have to have a good connection, you know, because when you go there, people, it's, you can't just like be friends with the English base. You have to mix a match, but we're, we're literally also close. It's literally like 11 brothers, well, more than like 18 brothers, because that's how many is in the squad. And how do you do that? Do you sort of have a WhatsApp group chat or anything like that? Yeah, we have a WhatsApp group chat. It's a lot different over here. I mean, when we play, it's literally like a carnival. So there's music playing in the background, fans are screaming. Fans are much harsh, harsh over there than they are here. In what way? If you're playing, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not playing very well, they're making no. <laughs> they do make it no. And during your time with both Leicester and St Kitts and Nevis, you also broke a Fox's goal-scoring record of yeah. 85 years. I'm yeah. sure you know about it. Tell me a bit more um, you know about it. I'm not sure who who I beat to be the goal-scoring record for the international. It's got beat now actually, I'm sure Riyad Mahrez beat it and I think Okazaki, it was one of the other but I'm sure it might have been Mahrez actually. But it was nice to break after so many years. What was the goal scoring record, do you remember? The goal scoring record, I'm just sure, uh, I think just while I was playing for Leicester it was five goals and I ended up scoring six. Mm. Now I've scored, well I've scored ten plus three for the 23s, 13. So yeah, that's me. So you're the all time international goal scorer yeah. for, for Leicester, that's some record isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice, it's a nice achievement. A nice one to keep. And the current St. Kitts and Nevis record is held by Keith Gunn with 47 goals. Yeah. You're on 10, I believe, is it 10? I'm on 10, yeah. You're on 10. Is, is, Good target set for that? Um, well, my, my, my target with St. Kitts is just like take them to the Gold Cup. We've never been to the Gold Cup. And that would be like crazy in itself. Uh, an island of 50,000 people going to, I mean, the Gold Cup is massive against the likes of 
USA, Mexico. So that's, that's my main goal. If I can reach the heights of um, Kayamba Gomes, then it, it'll be a special moment. How high can the St. Kitts and Nevis team go, do you think? Well, we've actually got a, very, we've got a very decent team now. I don't, I don't think people really realise. I mean, what was the highest ranking we got? It was only like a couple of years ago when we all came. I think we came to 76 in the rankings in the world. And that's big for, like I said, a country of 50,000. So hopefully we can keep like, reaching them heights. We've got, we've got a very good team of three players that will be joining us. And I'm sure people will know about it soon. And just finally speaking of records, you know, the current appearance record is 61. You're currently on 21, 40 off. Mine on 20 now, 21 now, 40 off. 24. I should be able, I should be able to yeah? surpass that. Yeah. Is that a goal you're looking to reach? Um, do you know, I don't, I don't really, when it comes to like goals, just play as long as possible. And um, just scoring goals, I mean, that's, that's what makes me happy. I don't really think about beating the appearance. It'd be nice to beat the goal. That, that's one of my goals, to try and beat kind of goals. But um, just to keep scoring, that's what makes me happy. And just finally, I think we're currently in a CONCACAF competition. Would you mind telling us a bit more about that? Yeah, the CONCACAF. So there's four in a group, and I'm sure in our group is the Grenada, French Guyana, and um, Belize. So the top one of that group go, automatically qualifies to the Gold Cup in the 2021, so it's big. And I'm sure second just goes in the playoff to go to the Gold Cup. So if you finish first or second, which I think we should, fingers crossed, um, it'll probably be our first time in the Gold Cup. And when's your next game? Our next game will be October. We'll have two games against Belize, and then we have two more games in November against Grenada and French Guyana. Look forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward.